Hi guys. Hi guys. Hope you are all doing good and welcome back to another episode of Travel Box. Today we are here at Port Stephens NSW. This location is only about 2 hours drive from Sydney and we have a lot of amazing places to cover in this beautiful suburb. Let's, Let's begin. Start. first activity for the day is so we will be going a quad biking over here and we've already checked in we made the bookings online there are different batches so in the same group you can they will split you uh, based on your level of comfort you can either go fast medium or slow that completely depends on you sand dunes are not very far from here so we we will be taken over there in their four wheel drive and then from there we will be uh, put in our buggy what was called a safari it was for a duration of 90 minutes and costed us 119 dollars per person they took us over sand dunes small and big and also made us drive near the sea it was a very fun experience but by the end our palms were pretty sore so it's for you and i can't i can't touch it Our second stop for the day is the Fighter World Aviation Museum. This is in William Town and was also very close to the quad biking center that we had gone in the morning. So in this museum they have been preserving a lot of uh, fighter jets which have been a part of the Royal Australian Air Force which is also called the RAF. So let's go check out the collection that they have. Entry for this museum is sixteen dollars per adult, and as you can see, we have some uh, the jet flights and also the propeller-driven aircraft here on display. So this museum is located right next to the RAF base, which is the Royal Australian Air Force. So we have we also have an observation deck here where you can witness the day-to-day -day operations of both RAF and also the nearby airport, which is the Newcastle Airport. After the museum we came directly to the hotel and checked in and took rest for some time. It's 6:15 p.m. right now and we're going to head out to see the sunset. The weather looks bit cloudy now and uh, we are hoping to see the sunset. There is a uh, beach nearby to our hotel which is called Little Beach and um, we'll be leaving now and the sunset is forecasted at 7:16 p.m. and probably after that we'll head to a restaurant for our dinner.
this is one of the spots where you can see the sunset but in Nelson Bay there are a lot of options so if even if you just google the best sunset points in St Port Stephens you'll get a lot of them which align with the same area as Nelson Bay so okay let's see if we are successful in uh, watching a hmm. good sunset when we wake hear the birds and see the sun guys the weather is a disappointment today. As you can see behind me, it is very cloudy and we don't think we'll be able to see the sunset today. Anyway, we have another two more days in Port Stephens. We'll try to cover either the sunrise or sunset before we head back to Sydney, provided all the weather conditions are favoring to us. So guys, today is day two. Uh, we got up in the morning, had our breakfast, and now we are at the Toboggan Hill Park, and we are going to try tobogganing for the first time. If you don't know what it is, then please continue watching this video. It is going to be our first time doing this, so let's start. Now, we need instructions. Lever. Push it forward to go fast. Pull back, slow down. So forward, fast, and back for breaks. I wanna push all the limits with you right now. Your feelings, the city screaming when I'm coming home tonight. We're living quick in the world, gotta get it right now. People talk and tell what you wanna hear now, but they all disappear, they will let you down. So we better stick together, let's come whatever. When I'm coming home tonight, we're living quick in the world, gotta get it right now. It's basically a seat and it has a liver on it. So we just have to sit with our legs stretched out. If you push the liver downwards, it means that you need to go, you are applying the accelerator. So it's it's going to go in full speed if you push it all the way down. And if you feel you need to apply brake or slow down, you need to pull the liver slowly up. So that's the concept and just keep your body straight. That's also at the turns, you just need to make, uh, keep the balance and not tilt towards one side too much. That's all, it's not, it's not very dangerous. We got scared when they asked us to sign the waiver at first but it is fun since that we've done it we, we might do it again it's it's very nice We are here at Anna Bay and we are going for a camel ride. Uh, each ride will be for about 20 minutes so they will take us by the dunes into the sea and then back and the cost of the, a ticket for one adult is $35. We went sandboarding. For this, we were taken in a four wheel drive to the higher ends of the dunes. It costed us $35 per person for an unlimited amount of time. But we tend to become tired after some time because even though sliding down the dunes were fun, it was a pain to walk all the way up for the next drop. After all the fun, we ended our day with a beautiful sunset at Soldiers Point. Before I sleep. 
Good morning guys. Today is the third and the last day at Fort Stephens. We are here at we are here trekking at the Tomari Head Summit Walk. It's a 2.2 km hike and should take us about 1.5 hours and it's classified as a grade 5 hike and can be quite steep. I would suggest you to go as early as possible in the morning. This way you can beat the sun and the climb will be less tiresome. There is a mixture of slopy lanes and man-made staircases, but the view at the end of this is something to die for. Irukhanji Shark and Ray Encounter. Uh, this is an interactive aquarium where you can have a close encounter with shark and stingrays and also explore the ocean life. So let's go in and check out. The entry for an adult is $31, but this will allow only you have a, you know, just go walk around the aquarium and watch this animals. But if you actually want to get into the pool and get yourself wet, you need to buy additional ticket. We've got a shallow water encounter, which is for $15 per hour. For the shallow water encounter that we opted for, we were given black socks and a feeding stick. The keeper gave us a bait and we only have to hold it in front of the stingray or shark and they feed on it. We also got a chance to get up close and touch the largest female shark at the facility. So it was a great experience to be so close to the shark and stingrays and to touch and feel them. It is so nice. But obviously, uh, the, the environment over here, they are trained. They know that they have they have humans coming into the pool, so they are trained. But it's not the same as it is in the wild. But even then, to touch them and to feel them, to be so close and to feed them, it was a very good experience. So do come here. And uh, uh, to be frank, there's not much difference between uh, just standing in the shallow or just uh, in this particular uh, in this particular facility. There's not much difference between the shallow pools and the deep ones because it's all just a single pool with various levels of depth. So uh, we just like you know we just went to the shallow depth. It was nice. We just had to wait up till the knees and even then we could touch and uh, be very close to the animals so it was good so do come here and if you do come let us know how your experience was and if you watched this video till now and if you liked everything that we have shown you don't forget to give us a like button press the like button and let us know if you really enjoyed the video and don't forget to give us your comments so guys the last place for the trip is Murray's brewery so we have decided to try out some wines and beer which is purely Australian made and they have a variety of options to choose from. So along with that we are also going to have our lunch at this place and we'll be closing off this video. And thank you for so much for sticking with us till the end and if you have enjoyed this video don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Please click on the button it will mean a lot to us and will definitely help the video. Thank you so much for subscribing to our channel and if you haven't yet then please do it. We will come back with another video soon and till then stay tuned to Travel Bucks.